All right, here we go. Yeah, I started not. I started recording a bit too late, but yeah, it's okay. You only missed uh, me uh, uh, fixing the keyboard. I have to rotate it again. It was correct, wasn't it? Yeah. No. Okay. Good. So last time, yeah, we made a, we made it easy to deploy Haskell programs on AWS Lambda, right? Which is good, but now we have to use that. So that's the best way to test it, right? It's just like, hey, let's sit down and write an actual real-world app that runs on AWS Lambda using the functions we learned, right? Hmm. So what I'm thinking is that we write like a little web page that uh, offloads things to AWS. We're going to use like Cognito or something for user management. That's going to be interesting. Um, in, uh, in Lambda. And we'll just see what happens, right? We'll be at it for like an hour, hour and a half, I guess. Um, we won't get very far, but we'll, we'll do something. Right. Um, or like, what's a nice computational lambda task, right? That we would like to, like, you know, we want to, we want a task where it's like good to spin off uh, multiple copies, right? Like massively parallel tasks. Because <sighs> then we can, then we can like invoke our lambda function again and again and again in a nice way mm, let me see because i do have a synthesis problem right? where where you synthesize and what you're doing when you synthesize is that you essentially you know you run quick check on a bunch of expressions it would be cool if we could like parallelize that like bam just run this synthesis and this is what you do is that you kind of you, you naively generate candidates but you need to test those candidates right and if we could do that like on a massively parallel scale on lambda that wouldn't be a bit cool right let me see what am i what am i telling you okay let me change the title of the screen uh using uh let me see no, we're not in that so using Um, that's cool. Yeah, all right, change the stream title, update information, good. Okay, so. Mm. What is a nice way to do this? Let's just create like a, like, like a, a simple system, right? That has a login. Cause what I kind of want also is that I kind of want to get user user interaction stuff. Let's see. Uh, this is Larpy. Let's change our test library here to use something. Right? Test. Now this is the function we're deploying. And we would like to invoke something from Amazon Ka. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. There's an album by Ruslana. But it's also a hack school library, right? Let's just see. Oh yeah, one thing we had to do is that we have to fix our uh, package so that it builds with GT 8.10 mostly because um, yeah, because it uh, yeah, so because I think yeah, this this build plan is too tight. Uh, let me see. Vim. Uh, 
Okay, so because like this, this is okay. We can do. Um, this should be fine. Okay, um, and now we're gonna go. Yeah. Okay, let's copy the shell dot next uh, to shell eight ten, right? And let's fix it because it, it doesn't generate the documentation on on hackage because it um, I think it can be is available because it, it it doesn't it doesn't know about it right like it, it doesn't because it tries to build it with GHC 8.10 and then that fails uh, and it doesn't work 8.2 is too new, but it tends to work. We're getting there. It's all about having fun while we're at it, right? Let me just send a couple of, I'm send a message, hold on. Do, do, oh, we're waiting. Okay, okay, it's there, right. Message sent. All right, so Cabal build. Because we need to check if it actually builds, right? Yeah, so. This one doesn't work, wait. Uh, next goal, right. Because we want the documentation on a hackage, definitely, right? I'm wondering if I can. Uh, wait, I had this password somewhere. Let me, let me check it. Okay. Uh, right. Let me let me turn off the camera here. And then we go to Notepad. And I'll look it up on my phone and type it and copy paste it. That way, you can't see anything. Right? Okay, so, hackage. Um, password. Oh, it's so long. So I think we can just we change the ball file metadata here. Yes. Okay, I think it's so let's see if this actually built. Okay, it's still building. Uh, so if this works, like if this build works, I think it's enough for us to literally just say, you know, 15 year and just publish new revision. Um and that should be fine. Okay, let's turn on the stream cam again. How's everyone doing? By the way, I helped uh, Akita Software with something. Super cool company, by the way. And they sent me this water bottle. Yeah. Mostly, mostly I think it's mostly Jean Yang's doing, right? She knows I love Haskell. And it's such a cool water bottle, right? Oh, I mirrored. Let me unmirror myself on stream. Are you ready? Are you ready for the unmirroring? Flip a horizontal. No. I had the wrong chosen. Uh, flip horizontal. Let's flip it. Uh, oh yeah, no, I can't flip it. 
because it's like part of me. Oh, I, I should be able to. Give me a sec. Transform, flip. Yeah, check it. This is good stuff. Yeah. Though it's just a monad. <laughs> now, you know, a monad is, is kind of like a water bottle. You can pour stuff out of it. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep me mirrored. Uh, why? Because that's how I see myself. In the mirror every day. So then you meet me in the street and you're gonna be like, bro, what's up with that hairdo? It's different. I'll be like, well, you should try looking at me in the mirror. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's just, just swipe clean. Nothing going on except a nice Haskell logo. I've had to explain it a couple of times, like, what's up with that logo? Some people are like, oh, we use Lambda in radiation. And I'm like, yeah, well, we use Lambda for other stuff. We gotta, we gotta have our own Lambda, you know, it's good stuff. Let me see. Uh, building Pro Functors. Nice. Okay, so let's... Hmm. Let's think a bit about what we want to do. Like, what are we trying to do? What's a nice application? Because I just, I just kind of want to publish my, well, not publish my synthesis stuff, but I want to, I want to see if we can, we can make it scale. Can we make it web scale on AWS Lambda? Hmm. Another thing I've been doing is I've been writing like a parser for uh, for web pages. Well, not writing a parser, but like using a parser and then like invoking that parser, and that's just being run on a, a lambda. That would be nice. That's it. But this is gonna take a while, I'm guessing. So. Right. We should have a bit more of a plan for what we want to do, right? So what are we, what are we trying to do web page wise? Could create like a, a so yeah, what I was talking about on uh, Twitter earlier is that I, I've, I've been taking a lot of photos and it would be nice to have like a nice page to display those photos, right? Maybe we could do that. Let's look at the uh, HTML frameworks. Uh, What is that? It's called State of the Haskell Ecosystem. Uh, State of the Union. Yeah, this one is good. I mean, it, it's not the most up-to-date thing, uh, I think. I mean, they try to keep it updated. But uh, they kind of go into, you know, everything you need, right? The front, so yeah, let's look at server side web programming okay mm. okay uh ihp i mean that looks nice starter thing uh i've used i've used servant a bunch but that's like for rest stuff graphql api i think i even you don't need my password here. I think I even uh, contributed. No, that was not this one. That was the that was the other one. There was a GraphQL API that I contributed to. Um, WebSockets authenticate. Yeah, that's nice. Haskell DSL for building HTML. Yes. 
so what do we want uh, we could run the entire thing on Haskell and run the entire thing as a lambda function you can do that with CloudFront that would be kind of cool um, let's see yes let's see let's see here uh, IHP this is a bit much I think uh, I just want something. I just want to generate. I just want to generate HTML to start with. Okay, uh, let's see. Cloud front AWS Lambda. It's called Lambda at Edge or something like that. <sighs> Lambda Edge. Let me change that. We're back in the Christmas. I, I, I'm trying out this new album. I hope it's also free. Otherwise, we're gonna get DMCA, which isn't that nice. Okay, we're building RSA. Cool. Um. Okay. P. Hello. Sup. Sup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, what do we have here for front end server side? So this is server side. Scripting, uh, let's see. Front end web programming. Okay, we can compile to JavaScript. But uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's what we want. I think that's a bit much. Because now we can we can actually run things, but do we want to run it on the front end? We need to do it uh let's see. Uh mysterious That's called the web assembly, that's good. You don't know about this compiler, it's it's good stuff. Terror Jack uh, is a legend. Uh, he's one of the main guys behind this. I think. I, I think it's. I think he's, that's his name, Terror Jack. Uh, yeah. 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 He's a guy. Met him a couple of times. Conferences. Cool guy. So this is taking so long to build because uh, we're doing it with GHC 8.10, right, to test it. And um, we haven't built it with that yet, so that's going to be take a long time. Okay. Let me see, Lambda Edge. Um, so we we request CloudFront Cache or right, or trust, yeah. Of course, the limited set of runtimes and features. Uh, so, can we even run Haskell on the edge? Example cloud front message event, right? Functions generated should be me. Um, can we just do this? Let me see. Um, we need to, I need to log into the console. Beep, 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 beep. I'm going to turn off the camera, as usual, when I log into things. Uh, because I don't want you to see the code that I type. Do, 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 do. I usually tend to vocalize things also if I'm typing a code like this but I specifically have to not do that if I want to keep it hidden on stream right it's not easy being a streamer anyway uh, here we have cloud front let's just make a new let's make a new distribution uh, create distribution, get started, origin domain name, 
requests and responses at the following points before CloudFront forwards a response to the viewer okay let me it's always jumping back to like I wanted to play this this one keeps looping back to the Christmas one. Not that I don't like the Christmas one, but okay. Uh, what is the body? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's just create a new S3 here. Uh, let's create a new bucket. That's just called LARPY. And we make it do something. So then we have like an S3 bucket, right? To, uh, where we can place like an index file, right? Do, do, do. So this is gonna be more web development, I guess. I mean, we're using Haskell for it. But we're gonna be, we're gonna need to uh, make, uh, create bucket. I don't want you to see which ones are public or not, so let me move this a bit here. And... Uh, RRP. bucket ready to go let's see uh, origin domain name uh, this needs to we need to re change this to get started uh, set this to lurpy what is the origin shield Sure. Uh, origin. Let's see. Okay, you can also yeah with origin. My server is not like that. I'm origin not going Okay, centralized caching layer that helps increase your cache hit ratio. To reduce the load on your origin, origin shield also decreases your origin operator the cloud like a request of resolution through shield. Request to go to your origin per object. Okay, uh, let's click. Let's see the pricing. I mean, I think it's it looks good. Shield costs. Blah, blah, blah. This, I don't want it to be like five dollars per request, right? Uh, let's see. Okay, I was just there, right? <sighs> oh, okay, it's 
it's super cheap, but this is like per request. Okay. Uh, okay, it seems to be fine. Okay, just to be sure. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's no. Uh, okay, origin connection custom headers. Okay, and then here we're gonna say origin response. Let's see what we can do here. Um, okay, so what is the here? Origin response, viewer response, right? So it goes through Cloud Funner and then. We want to. Which one do we want? I think it's viewer response. We can change this later. Uh, viewer response, lambda function R. Um, let's see. Let's go to lambda and see what we can do. Is it still going? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> Larpy. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to change this. So that... Uh, I want to change the test one. Uh... What? Sorry. I want to change this one uh, so that it's. Uh, what was the state here? Yeah, okay, the state was. You turn right at. So, uh, what was this again? So the the interface takes in a lambda interface the lambda invocation, right? And I just want to say here this should be right e right and lambda invocations. They should already have a uh, um I'm not sure that we can okay. Right. I think we need to uh SE no, yeah. Okay, so here we can't return the invocation directly. We need to say right uh, BS dot pack dollar response is that request body, right? Yeah. I body of e. I want to just return the body. But it's BS pack, right? Hmm. Oh, we need to unpack it. Okay. It should be fine. Uh, BS dot unpack. Then we need to say here, no, oh. So this worked, cool. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, I wanna see, I wanna be able to. So we can edit the package. Let's edit this, uh, review changes. Uh, 
that's how you do tested with, right? Uh, let me see. slow than usual feels a bit like it right I don't know if I'm doing anything different but yeah okay here we go oh no yeah okay but I run the specific request yeah yeah okay this should be fine shouldn't take too long Here I'm doing this. This is a different. Okay. should be getting documentation soon. Mm. How often do they try again? Let's see. 1949, 1956. I hope they try again soon. It'll be nice to have it properly. reveal the request and what I'm gonna do then is that you know I'm gonna run cloud front edge using this lambda and then I can see exactly what the request that request it's getting is right um, and that would be cool because now we can see what we have to work with 
but I think I probably have to return a request in a specific format. And... Stuff like that. Let's see. So now it's going to take whatever it gets, and it's not going to interpret it. It's just going to, yeah, you know, return it directly, which is fine. But yeah. And then we need to update this. But what I'm unsure about is that, you know, we, maybe we can't run these functions directly, right? That's my suspicion. Because, like, this is a special runtime interface thing, and then I think we might not be able to run it on Edge. Because it said it had limited runtimes. Oh my god. Yeah. But surely, okay, uh, let's upload a file here and add file. Okay, let's just make a bad file saying, uh, wait, HTML and slash HTML. Slowly but surely getting there. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Nice. should work I think it should work now but yeah yeah it's a compiler at least it's telling us now what the problem is rather than way too late right okay 
打进。This is what you do if you're doing Haskell, right? There's a lot of a lot of slow prodding build work. It's also because I'm, you know, I'm streaming uh, at the same time that I'm developing, like on a virtual machine, right? So it's always going to be a bit slow. But uh, at least we kind of fixed this part, right? So now uh, Larpy. It should be updated soon um, because we made a revision to make it build with the latest one. Mm. And then we, we can't test it, test it like on the containers. But uh, if it built like it's, you know, there's, there's nothing that it's doing that's Changed right from 8.8 to 8.10. Okay, it built finally. So now we can chat the deploy and it should all work out. Okay, uh, chat deploy. Let me see. Do I have to log in again? Um, I might have to log. Yeah. Uh, cat dash history correct yes. Um, yeah, uh, Oh, yeah. 
Now we need to do pseudo for the daemon. Pseudo. And then we can run the command again. And we're gonna get like a SHA and then it's gonna be we're gonna post that. It should all work out. Let me see. Checking if this is happening. No, not quite yet. Okay, and then we have this one, and we're gonna say deploy a new image. And we're just gonna say here, um, Save, okay, and it's still updating. Once it start up, stopped updating, we're going to run the test. See what happens. And let's see. Do, 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 do. Because then I want to uh, add this arm here to um, this one. Oh, we can just do, do all of them. That's nice. Viewer request. Uh, yeah, the order here doesn't matter. We, we, we have the body as well. Origin response, yeah. Enable with a log, create new configuration. Price class, no, we're just gonna use a uh, US Canada in Europe. Uh, there's no uh, alternate their name names. We had larpy.mpg.is, right? So let's just call it larpyweb.mpg.is. And I already have a uh, sensor cell for MPG. TSL, a default root objectives. Um, real time configuration. What? Wow. Okay. Uh, yes. What is the name? Real. Uh, Larpy. Uh, Do, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, cloud front is right. Okay, I don't think we need this. I think it's fine. Uh, let's not enable. Let's. We can just. No, no, not. A, we don't want to kinase this data stream of logs. Okay. Uh, create distribution. S3 bucket for logs. Yeah, let's put them in LARPY. Great distribution. One or more inputs not valid. Which ones uh, are not valid here? Is there anything that is red? What? Invalidly function armor specify reference a specific function version. Oh. Okay. A uh, copy arm. That was not enough, I guess. Um, yeah, wait, for RP and then... Let me see, uh, versions. Uh, publish new version. Uh, V2. Uh, web. It's gonna, it's gonna be called web. Copy ARN for version 2. This doesn't include a version, okay? So let's see. LARPY2 function ARN. Yeah, this includes a version. Hold on. Yes. 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 Create distribution. 
the function must be in region US East 1. Okay, uh, I guess. Um, This is the S3, right? Um, let's change to US East 1. North Virginia. Mount Mommer. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Larpy Web. What it was a runtime? Yeah, custom runtime. What was the runtime we said actually last time? I don't know. I don't think we did. Advanced settings, code setting. Okay, I think we should just provide your own bootstrap. Yes. Uh, let me see. Let's just look at it here. Dude, I can't see. Ireland. Okay. And let's just see what we are dealing with. Dee -dee -doo -doo -doo. Is setting runtime? Uh, yeah. What did we set the runtime to? Yeah. Okay. Let's just try this. I think this works. Yeah. Um. Yes. Okay. Create function. We had to set like the x -S -H or something like that. Um, configuration. Oh, did I mess this up? Um, wait, how did I? How did I... Okay, this is not the right runtime. How did I create that runtime last time? We did this way back in like... Episode 1. Oh yeah, we have to select container image. And then we open this one and we say uh, yeah we're going to use the same image here and uh, the we had some entry point override command override test right okay create function Yes, this should work. Image repository. Oh my god. Ah, they're making this so hard. Okay. Uh, let's just create an ECR in. Like they should also tell you this, right? Like, hey, you need to do it in the right place. Okay. Also, why can't you upload a function from like another Amazon ECR? Is in a big different be. Then I guess we have to. What do we have to do? Uh, yeah, let's say this is EU. This is US East one. I'm guessing. Here. Um, 
US East one. And we're trying to log into US East one. Okay, and yes. This is annoying. US East one. Now you have to push all of it, yeah. That's fine. It's a tiny image, so it's gonna be quick. Um, but this is almost here, yeah. Okay, is it this? It should be the same hash, right? Uh, let's see. Okay, this is to be, yeah, it should be the same hash. Yes, it's 30 and then it's with 38, right? Yeah, so it's the same hash. Okay, um,. East create function nice okay we managed to create this function versions publish new version web let's call it v1 and then uh, oh my god Okay, we're still creating the function, but we're almost there. Okay. Web v1. Okay, and this should be our R. Now we can paste it. Yeah. US East, as you can see. Create a distribution. does not support function with a repository type of ECR okay so we just can't use lambdas here all right well uh, as with all science negative results are important um, it's harder to publish And it's always sad because you're like, hey, we made an achievement. But what we find out now, you know, is that you cannot run ECR functions at edge, right? So you would have to like either compile Haskell through JavaScript or something like that, which is a shame. So we can't write our web page entirely uh, in Haskell. We would have to have some we can write like backend server stuff that calls to Lambda functions, but we can't do it entirely in Haskell. Which is, yeah, it's sad. That is sad. Uh, I was, cause I was kind of looking forward to, you know, hey, let's just render everything in Haskell, right? That would be cool. Yeah, okay, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll plan this better for tomorrow. You know, we'll actually have something that works instead of this kind of nothing, which is a bit, lame but yeah uh but uh anyway <laughs> thanks for tuning in i hope this was a, a not terrible waste of time watching this that nothing happened because uh, i i really thought i don't know i guess i could have read this in a box but uh, anyway um but at least we did fix this and it says okay now uh, which means that this should say okay, All right? Uh, because it built, right? Uh, nice. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, this should be happening quite soon, right? 
Anyway, this should happen and this should work and then we have finally documentation for LARPy. So at least we did something positive even if we didn't actually write so much dog food stuff. We'll have our app planned out by more tomorrow. Um, see what happens. Uh, Alright. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. And uh, I hope to see some of you tomorrow. Um, and then probably this will be uploaded, which is cool. Alright. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye.